Shabbat Shalom. This week we read a double portion. It's the portions of Vayakel Pakude. They the last two portions of the book of Shmot. At the end of the reading, the whole congregation will yell together, will call out together, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek. Chazak, Chazak, be strong, be strong. Venit Chazek will become stronger as we prepare ourselves to go on to the third book of the Torah, the book of Vayikra. Very interestingly, since we're two weeks before, this Shabbat we will be two weeks before Passover, we read the last of the three preparatory special portions uh, that we read before Pesach. This week we're going to be reading Parshat HaChodesh. Parshat HaChodesh is primarily about the, uh, the Passover offering, but the, it begins with, V'ha'chodesh hazeh lechem. This month is for you. The idea of, what is the word chodesh? The word month in Hebrew is the same word as the word for new. Ha'chodesh hazeh, renewal. Right? That, that the Torah is telling us that we have to renew our relationship with Torah mitzvahs. What does that mean? How do you renew your relationship with Torah mitzvahs? That means that every time we do a mitzvah, you know, mitzvahs are commandments. There are 613 commandments. We do this, many of the commandments over and over again. We daven every day. We say blessings every day. We, we, we learn Torah every day. Okay, what does it mean to, to renew our relationship with Torah mitzvahs? We have to do it with incredible enthusiasm. We have to break through, the, break out of the box. We have to be, we have to connect with the action and uh, invest it with new life. Okay? Uh, more than that, there are a lot of commandments where we actually uh, can, uh, can do them in a new way. We, we, when we study the Torah and we study about the commandments, we can learn about certain details that we, perhaps we didn't know about before or weren't careful about. We can do hidurim, beautifying the mitzvah, more concentration, more, 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 more investment in the commandments. Not only that, Torah. When we study Torah, right, the, uh, uh, we, can, we can come up with new ideas, share them with other people, beautify God's Torah by finding ways to apply it to, to the world. Okay? And when we do it, a person becomes like God, right? Because it says about God, It says about God that God renews every instant. There's a whole act of creation. When we renew our relationship with Torah and Mitzvahs, then, then we're become acting like God. Where can we do that? How do we do that through more enthusiasm, more renewal, be acting like God, how is it possible? The answer is that we have a divine soul. Each Jewish person has a soul. And that soul is it's a part of God from above. And that when we tap into the soul, when we resonate that soul energy in us, that gives us the ability to push through, to go higher and higher, to see things in a new way, with a new light, and, and, to, and to transform not only, our, not only ourselves, but the world around us too. So that's the message. Here we are. We're starting the new month of Nisan. We always read Parsha Zachotesh either the, just before or on the Rosh Chodesh, on the first day of the month itself. The, the word Nisan means Nisim, from the word miracles. I want miracles in my life. How do I get miracles in my life? By renewal. Doing Torah and mitzvahs in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way of enthusiasm, of high energy, then I tap into the unlimited part of the Torah, I resonate with my soul, and will live in an environment of miracles. May it be for the whole Jewish people. Shabbat Shalom.